from Starlight Lanes in Flagstaff. We're here for the title matches of today's JVT event. Season opener for Mojave and uh, second event of the year in Arizona. Dual conference event. We got two exciting title matches going on right now. To our left, Sorrel Cardenas is taking on Hunter Mays. Uh, that's a third frame split for Sorrell, which he won't make, which will just about even up that match as Hunter went open double to go there. To the right, that's Caden Maliska, unhappy with his result of that third frame as he misses that single pin spare. He's taken on RJ Point, who can't wait for me to say his name so I can say hi, and there he goes. Handicap difference in this match is, uh, what is it? It's 20. Caden's got to win by 20 to tie, 21 to win. RJ, a quickly rising star. Here, get a shot of Team USA member Sorrell first. That's Plastic throwing 10 in the pit down there, too. We'll talk more about that in a second. RJ, a good looking young left hander. Tell you what, if he starts to get really good, it'll be him and Hunter on the left side, and that'll be about it. Oh, yeah, Keith, too, finished in third, so. Nonetheless, the general point stays true. Here's a guy who has two JBT titles, and they're both majors, best in the West, and uh, Desert Open. The tall two-hander left hand. Throws a good ball, leaves that light hit 10-pin. He'll lead by three if he can convert that in the fourth frame. RJ, a good spare shooter as well, takes his time. Plastic ball cross lane, no trouble whatsoever with that four pin. He was so excited to hear that he's on the YouTube level. I don't even know if he cares if he wins the match. He's on YouTube. That's all that matters. That, RJ could be this guy in a few years. No problem with the 10 for Mays. Mays got by his brother Chris earlier in match play today and Rachel Berg before that. Rachel already won the girls scratch series today with a win over Jennifer Peterson. Caden, the defending champ, he won in Flagstaff last year over on the high end of the center. He was mad at me for using the low end for the finals, but it seems to have worked out just as well for him. If they're not, Hunter, if they're not fast, feel free to throw a gutter. Makeable, but tricky little split for Caden to shoot at. Not able to cover it, so falls behind by even more in that match. They're tied scratch, and again, Caden's the one giving the 20. Caden has this sour look on his face when he bowls. I thought he lost every single match just by body language. It turns out he won. So, Hayden, I was hoping that they could give us five for you to warm up. Perfect. There you go. Oh, wow. Another nice shot for RJ. Little half seven. Someone's coaching this kid right. All, all the fundamentals are there. And RJ does the weirdest thing when he bowls. He puts his thumb in the ball. Who does that anymore? I was going to say, what is that? That is what that, yeah. What's a thumb? No thumbs in the scratch title match. I don't know what RJ's thinking. That's right. <laughs> Except those two thumbs right there. Thumbs up are the only thumb we'll get. Great job out of the Starlight staff as always. Busy, busy bowling alley. Only game in town in a rapidly growing town. So we appreciate them letting us Thank in you. for the weekend. This guy's the man. He was here before, almost before me today. Still trucking out today. Hunter's got every opportunity to dominate this tour for a couple years now. He's only what, a junior? What's what's Hunter, Junior? Yes. Junior high school. Seventeen on the first. Seventeen on the first. By couple I mean half a decade if he feels like it. We'll dangle that carrot out there. Ninety-two titles is the record. Come and get it. Only ninety more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Very good. Well, of course, locked up a Team USA spot at Junior Gold this summer. We're so proud of him for that. So deserving of that, too. And that's just a lot of talent right there. That's plastic, and he's throwing the plastic for two reasons. A, they're super dry and there's a lot of back end. But B, we're on one and two, and where Sorrell would stand with Reactive does not have any boards on it. He would be halfway across the carpet right now if he was using a reactive. So what does he have to do? Ball down, move right. He's more than capable of doing it. That's why he's uh, Team USA.
wants it to push, and that's one of the advantages of the throwing plastic is that it can push when he missed a few boards left. That's a three-bagger, and that's a lead. Now, Belmo, of course, one of Sorrell's sort of bowler likes, does occasionally bowl on the tile. I've seen him do it at South Point all the time. Sorrell says he's never tried throwing a ball where he's standing off the lane, so you won't see that in this match. He doesn't need to right now. This is a big shot for Hunter to stay up within shooting distance. There's no quitting Hunter Mays. We learned that a long time ago already. Double gets him in the one O's. So he trails by uh, less than a mark and can take the leader if he can make it three in a row in the seventh. RJ, meanwhile, throwing good shots and just leaving corner pins there, but he's sparing them up nice and calmly, just that one open frame in the second. And he's enjoying an almost 30 pin lead, which he'll maintain if he can convert that 10 pin. Can't decide who's going to go first here. Yep, yeah, it's going to be RJ. Oh, no. Gotta hang on. Nope, he isn't gonna hang on. Let's see what Hunter can do. Oh, huge break getting that six pin to fall out there. My goodness. I thought Hunter's mom was taping the title match. Instead, she's live streaming someone else. Wow, this is fascinating. Well, taping the title match. <laughs> Harder on the parents than it is on the kids. That's been true for 24 years. <laughs> oh no, and Hunter misses that by a mile. Bam. Caden rocks his way to that spare. Huh? Let him know. Sorrell wants to take advantage of that surprising open by Mays. Throws it great, but doesn't get that seven pin to tickle out. Great turnout here in one of my favorite towns in the universe. Such a cool city. And by cool city, I mean cool city. It's about 45 degrees outside, and some of the Phoenicians are beside themselves. There you go. We, we, we pre-sold hoodies today. We should have just flat out sold hoodies today. I think we sold a bucket load of them. Beautiful, cool, crisp weather. It's fall in Flagstaff. It is not quite yet there in, in <laughs> down south. Rye smile from Cardenas as he gets a thunderous applause from Tyler Denoon for some reason. There we go. 13 career JBT titles for Sorrell. A couple majors, a couple invitationals. Top 12 at TPC a couple years in a row, I believe. Another good shot from point. There! No! Oh! Wow! What has he got to do to get all the pins down? Solid 10 that time. He shakes it up. He just wants more camera time. He wants to throw two balls every frame. There's a little shaker for Cardenas. 22 pin lead for Sorrell. Let's see what Hunter can do about it here in the 8th and ninth. Still in this match. He can strike out for 222. Sorrell going at a 214 pace. So it's who can perform in the last uh, two and a half frames here. Well, that paddle on three and four is given up. Thanks to owner Ron Ghetto and the whole Scott and the whole crew here. Really, really. Hospitality, great food here as well. Way above average for quote unquote bowling alley food. Pretty typical adjustment over that high hit to come out light the next time. Tricky spare on all this friction too. Especially after missing that last spare so bad. Just gotta forget that. And cover this up and strike out. You force, make Sorrell stay clean if he can. All right, good job there. With those two titles being majors, he's had quite a few other opportunities to add to that collection in these uh, minors, I guess we'll call them. <laughs> Nothing minor about a JBT title though. It hasn't happened for him yet. He's going to need a uh, big comeback here and a little help from Sorrell to make that happen this time. Meanwhile, RJ waited for the ball return. Has no problem with his 10 pin that time. And no love for Hunter is a pretty good shot. Leaves a shaker 10. He's in trouble in this match. Spare it up though, you never know. Maliska up quickly. Leaves the righty's version of that. Two, four, five, no problem at the 10 for Hunter. 
Kate, number 11 seed heading into match play. Ed wins over newcomer Braxton Sexton. He throws a good ball. Look out for him eventually. Tyler Morgan, we already know. And Silas Phillips in the semifinals. Looking good. Well, Sorrell would, Sorrell would love his beloved New York Mets to win a couple events in a row, and he would love for uh, Sorrell Cardenas to win a couple events in a row. He's going to start with one here, which will give him an early Mojave lead. He did well at Desert Open, so. Where we will probably see him most of the year, at or near the top of the class. Let's quickly add this up. That's not going to matter. The best Hunter can do is 201, 209 already for Sorrell. Hunter will have to shake this off because he's got one more game to bowl right away. It's the U17 match and it's got to be on this pair because we have to shift. So, Let's see if he can regroup and at least get that. How can he be mad about a second? How do you feel about a second, Ryan? I've seen a little bit of sourpuss out of Ryan Zent's second place. I've seen sourpusses out of Ryan Zent's first. Yeah, there, there you go. When you're a competitor, second place feels like last. It's just how it is. Caden, a good job with back-to-back -back spares, but Poynton's got this match in his hands with the strike working in the ninth. Hunter's going to have to figure this pair out for the next uh, match. Decent game, Sorrell. <laughs> Very nice of you. Uh-oh, he's getting beat up by the parents. <laughs> Gotta take him out for tomorrow. Is RJ in the night? Yes, double for RJ. Oh, he's got the day. Oh my goodness, he's gonna love that day. He's gonna love having that. We'll cut and, cut and clip that for his prom seven years from now. That's right, both. I have children screaming that they're starving, so... I don't blame you one bit. Caden needs all strikes and a miracle. If not, either way, boy, he sure likes this bowling alley. First last year, it'll be second this time, and still a whole other tournament to go. Not so bad. Hunter, all we have left to use is one and two, so we're going to do U17 on this pair as well. We got a couple practice shots to figure out what the heck went wrong there in that second half. There from Melissa. 180 possible, it would require disaster. Technically, uh, Caden should be going, but oh well. Do we have a Hayden? There's a Hayden. Thank you. Let's add that up. I see the last score sheet right here. I would do. Let's see, if uh, RJ happens to seven out on this, it would be 159, 166. Caden can only get to 180, it's over. RJ Poynton's a JVT champion. Maybe we'll get that in some more time on the camera. Maybe I'll we'll make the split, first of all. That's gonna be close. Oh, that's not gonna matter, folks. Worst he can do is lose by eight. Hunter and Hayden, you guys get two balls on each lane. Hey, we had another thumb. Oh, I think he knows it. I think Mama knows it. Hey, uh, RJ, I don't think we. Ha I don't think I caught that whole dance on camera for your prom or for your wedding. If you need to do it one more time. Now, now we get shy. Now we, now we get shy. Oh boy. And that's the end of that. Hayden, your prom is in about six years. I'll make sure to uh, get that copy out for you. 
swear to God, I've never heard you say that. Thank you. Every time we talk. Congrats. Great job. We'll try it again in the morning, sir. I'm like, what? Feels good to win your first one. For Caden, he just couldn't find that strike line. A strike in the second frame, and that was it. He'll be back. In about uh, 14 hours, he'll be back, actually, yes. 210 after pins, totally respectful. It's not quite enough. But I don't recall ever actually hearing you say that. Great job out of RJ and Surreal. Wait a sec. Caden has been a sourpuss all day long. Now he finally loses and he's smiling. I can't figure this kid out. Oh, we're trying a two-hander? Let's see it. Oh, let's see it, Caden. Uh-oh, two-handed backup. Need some work. Good sportsmanship out of both of them. Great stuff. We'll do it all over.